Case 18 is a female patient presenting with a long-standing palpable mass along the posterior aspect of her neck. Her surgeon suspected a lipoma clinically, and an ultrasound was requested to further characterize the mass prior to surgery. Sonographic assessment of the region of interest demonstrates a superficial, circumscribed large mass with posterior acoustic enhancement. Internally, the mass is composed predominantly of hyperechoic material, although you can see tubular anechoic regions extending throughout the mass. There are also interspersed very hyperechoic linear thin regions in long axis here and in short axis in these regions. Short axis view of the mass again demonstrates a superficial circumscribed mass with significant posterior acoustic enhancement and similar internal architecture. Color Doppler demonstrates no significant internal flow within the mass. We also do not see significant peripheral hyperemia. This ultrasound appearance is not typical for a lipoma, although it is for another commonly encountered superficial mass. There have been other descriptions of this type of mass in the ultrasound literature, including small to medium-sized hypoechoic masses, often with tubular or linear hypoechoic structures extending from the mass to the skin surface. In the region of the testicle, circumscribed masses with concentric internal rings likened to an onion skin appearance have been described. These masses typically do not have internal vascularity, and peripheral vascularity or hyperemia is usually not seen unless the lesion is inflamed or infected. This mass was resected, and the final pathology confirmed an epidermal inclusion cyst. In this companion case, one of the other classically described appearances is noted. We see a hypoechoic mass, superficial, right at the interface between the skin and the subcutaneous tissues. There is a linear hypoechoic tract extending from the mass to the skin surface.